Oh, my. Oh, God. Uh, Harvey, at times, could be a little difficult. Uh, I, he never bothered me, even if he was difficult to meet with me or anything. I Because he would turn on a dime and be just adorable the next second, you know. But this one week, he was a true curmudgeon. He was angry at something or whatever, and we were there that morning to pre-tape a musical number. And Petula Clark and Tim Conway were on as the guests. And I said, Tim, you know, you've got a, a Harvey, calm down. You're, I, I'm upset and I don't even want to be on this show. Or, and he was rude at one point. He was kind of, a, he made some remark to Petula, which was uncalled for. Well, that got the fur up here. I got, okay, you can step on me because I can take it, but you don't step on our guest. You don't behave that way. So I said, you've got to stop it. He said, I, I, I don't even want to be here. I, don't. I said, okay, meet me tonight after the taping in your dressing room. Don't go home yet. Okay, so <laughs> I decided I would just be Joan Crawford or somebody like that and go in and be the boss because I was never that way. But so I told him, I said, you want to be off the show? Okay, you're off the show. Don't come back next week. Now, nobody knew I was doing this. Joe, my husband, who was producing, and so they didn't know that I was doing this. And Harvey got very, he said, well, you can't do it. I have a contract. I said, I can break that contract because I'll just say that you were really rude to the guests and you're difficult to work with and stuff. And, and you know, other people can witness, be witness to this. Then he said, well, let me come back next week. You know, <laughs> he was backtracking. And I said, okay. I said, but when you come back next week, we all have our problems, but when you come back next week, I don't want you to bring your problems here. When I see you in the hall, I want you to whistle and be happy. And all. <laughs> so he, we went home, I told everybody about, oh, and he went across the street after the taping to the farmer's daughter, or there was a, a bar across the street from CBS. And everybody got, went there for drinks after the show, all the crew and everything. And Harvey got up on the bar, the counter, and said, my queen fired me tonight. I love her. <laughs> it was just, it's like if I behaved badly towards him, he would, he loved it. I don't know, maybe it was a, it was a masochist or something. But anyway, uh, the next week, you know, come Monday, and we're going to read this, uh, this show in my dressing room. And I went to the ladies' room, and I came back out into the hall, and Harvey, the elevator door was opening, and he looked at me and he went <laughs> and skipped down the hall. <laughs> so we, that Friday, we put a sign on his dressing room door saying, Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky. And he loved that. He loved the fact that we had that moment. And he, he always talked about it. <laughs> it was hard for me to do, but uh, as I said, I couldn't do it if it, if it was me that he was acting that way too, because he did all the time. I, I never bothered. But the fact that he was rude to the guest uh, upset me.